previously on my channel. It's really cute. <laughs> Why do we keep putting Nora in jail? Because she's a bad woman. Hello, my dears, and welcome to part two of my drawing and coloring process video that you guys have been wanting me to make for a while, so here it is. <laughs> the illustration that I'm working on today is actually a print that comes with the limited edition fan packs that I created for you guys, which comes with volume four of my published series, as well as a limited edition art book, charms, buttons, and of course this print, which I'm going to keep it a secret just a little bit longer until the end of this video the link is down there in the description box below guys the process of creating art isn't just creating the art it's also what you did while you were working on it so that's what i did part art process part vlog it's something going on that I hope you guys will continue to enjoy and let me know if you want to see more videos like this by giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing for more videos. So, without further ado, let's get started, boo boo. Mwah. So, I got myself out of bed, walked my dog, and the first thing I saw was this. So, I saw something kind of kind of suspect in this tree. Someone lost their apple cuz these squirrels are OD crazy around here. <laughs> Took somebody's apple, brought it up in the tree. When I got to my studio, I lined up the markers I wanted to use, leaving some of the caps on loose to save me some time while switching between colors. Then I began erasing my pencil lines and started mapping out where I wanted the shadows to be, using the lightest color I'd use for his skin. People always ask me what colors I use to color skin, and the honest truth is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm also a painter, so I add in all types of colors into skin. Purples, blues, pinks, browns. There are no colors that are off limits when it comes to skin, which is part of the reason why skin is just so much fun to color. Now I'm going in with the medium colors for his skin. I'm just building up the colors little by little and working my way up to the darker colors. This helped me minimize the amount of streaking and it helped the colors blend in a lot better. Now it was time for lunch and I made my little dog a really healthy meal of carrots, broccoli and grilled chicken breast. You're enjoying your carrots and your chicken and your broccoli little one? Ooh, what a yummy meal. Mama made that for you. Yes, she did. <laughs> Yay! And if you've seen the meals I post online, you know Mama is a broccoli-free girl. Yes! And here is the meal I created. Dominican-style meat, sweet potatoes, all that good stuff, girl. Mm-mm-mm. And after a healthy lunch, it was back to work I go. Next, I worked on Joseph's hair, but I use a lot of different grays and beiges for his hair. His hair is so blonde that it's like almost white, so it leaves a lot of room for experimentation. Now it was time to color in the baby skull. <laughs> I really took my sweet time on this part because I was using a photographic reference for this and I really wanted to get the colors just right. There were so many beautiful colors in the bone, oh my gosh! <laughs> I know it sounds really weird, but bones are not just white. They have beige, they have blue, they have brown. Girl, there are so many different colors, so I was really packing on the ink. Listen. 
so it's been another really long day just working really hard to get this illustration done and getting everything planned for volume 4's official release on Halloween and um, speaking to the printers, making sure the printing's on time speaking to bookstores to make sure that they have space for the books and how many they want to order we're going to be filming sometime next week for the promotional video for volume 4 where there will also be a mini interview Oh my gosh, there's so much happening behind the scenes, you guys, for the, its um, official release on Halloween. And I really hope you guys are going to love all the things that I'm doing for you. And um, that you're looking forward to Volume 4's official release because I'm excited. So I hope you're excited too, guys. Ah, but tomorrow's another day. More work to do. And um, I'm looking forward to everything. I'm just uh, I'm ready for some sleep. So, <laughs> so see you guys tomorrow. After a nice workout and spending time with my fuzzy son Mochi, something awesome came in the mail, guys. I have been waiting for these for this moment for so long. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my god. They look perfect. Oh my god, they look perfect. Wow. <laughs> and later that day when Bay came home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sorry about that. Moving on. Anyway. Now it was time to color in the flowers. Now this was especially challenging for me. These flowers took me hours, girl. And I didn't even have all the colors I wanted to use on these flowers. So I had to experiment a lot. Pushing myself this way is how I help myself improve and sharpen my skills. No one is a perfect artist, no one. And there's tons to learn, so never run away from a challenge. Honestly, I was really happy with the results, and I hope that those of you who ordered the print will enjoy what I made for you guys. And then later that week, I actually recorded the special unboxing video and did the mini interview. And here he is, guys! Thank you to everyone who supported my series and watched my mini interview. It means so much to me, guys. And just in case, the links to my manga and this print are in the description box below. You can find my shop link right there, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it to let me know that you want to see more videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on all the fun I have a lot to share with y'all people. <laughs> so until next time guys, please take care, God bless, and do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care guys!